It is important not to forget the attempted coup of 1990. The view of Noel Simeon, a survivor who lived through the event in TTT, said it's a date that resonates in his heart and mind with memories which should never be forgotten for the nation's sake. Every year, 27th of July does come around. Right? And when that comes around, we talk always around. So we could never forget it. And member of the Commission of Inquiry into the 1990 attempted coup, Diana Mahabir Wyatt, agrees with the idea of remembrance. She said one of the recommendations coming out of the Commission of Inquiry was to make the 27th of July an official day to commemorate the events of that year. She said it was important to educate the young people about the events of not only 1990, but also 1970. I discovered that in our school curriculum, students don't learn about the 1970 revolt. They don't know that we had an army revolt in 1970. Mm -hmm. They don't know the names of Shah and Lasalle and the other people who were involved in that. Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of them, a lot of young people, this is the future of our country, have yeah. no interest in, do not know about 1990. Veteran journalist Tony Fraser shared his thoughts on some of the gaps that he observed toward learning lessons from the attempted coup in order to avoid another such occurrence. Yeah, I think it was really unfortunate as that something was not done uh, immediately after to find out the sources of, uh, of what took place and what uh, pushed them into the center, not necessarily to punish anybody. Uh, but to make ourselves fully aware of the things that we need to avoid uh, into the future. Commissioner of Police Gary Griffith says his troops are prepared should there be a repeat of the 1990 attempted coup. Commenting on the 30th anniversary of the attempted coup, the commissioner is confident that if a similar situation were to develop again, it would be different this time around. He says the police service would lead the fight back and the defense force would lend support. If any organization decides to try to destroy our democracy, I will see it as an act of war and we will act accordingly. You saw what happened a few weeks ago. They tested us and within minutes, 40 different areas where they decided to loot block roads and come into Port of Spain later on. We were able to immediately deal with it and it's because of the training, the technology, and we are prepared to ensure that it will not happen again. The police commissioner also has a recommendation for the media. He believes after the events of 1990, it is wrong for Imam Yassin Abu Bakr to get media exposure. And we, members of the media, will ask you to think, yes, it is your is person's right to speak, but which other country in the world, an individual decided to destroy democracy, and every chance that he gets, he will just call a press conference or the media will contact him to get his view. His view should be as irrelevant as the individual himself and what he has done to this country.